Hello everyone, Scooney007 here bringing you another exciting game in the 2008 replay with Inside Pitch. In today's game, we have the 0-4 Washington Nationals taking on the 2-1 St. Louis Cardinals. And here is the starting lineup for the Washington Nationals. Leading off, the, the shortstop, Christian Guzman, batting second. The center fielder, Lastings Millage, batting third. The third baseman, Ryan Zimmerman, batting fourth in the cleanup position. The first baseman, Nick Johnson, batting fifth. The right fielder, Austin Arcons, batting sixth. The catcher, Paul Loduca, batting seventh. The second baseman, Ronnie Bellard, batting eighth. The left fielder, Felipe Lopez, and batting ninth, the pitcher, Odias Perez. On the mound for the Cardinals, it is Brandon Looper. Looper, 12 wins, 14 losses, 4.16 ERA, 199 innings pitched, 216 hits, 108 hits, at strikeouts, and 44 walks. We're here at Bush Stadium. Gives a minus three to strikeouts. Nothing to walks, nothing to home runs. And with that, Kristen is making his way to the batter's box, and we are ready to start. Guzman batting a 526. Here's the pitch. 3 5 question mark. Double star on a 1 to 2. The 8 too high. And that's going to be 5 5. And that's going to be a ground ball to second base for out number 1. Last thing's Millage batting a 214. Here's the pitch. And that's going to be a 1-5. That's going to be a blank. And that's going to be a 1-3. And that's going to be a single pass second. And Millage is on with a single. That's going to bring up the third baseman, Ryan Zimmerman. Zimmerman betting a 4.44 average. However, we do have a steal attempt coming up. Uh, Millage is a 15. That is going to be a plus one. So it's going to be a 15 or less. And that is a 14. And Millage has successfully stolen second. With the infield at double play depth. Strategy roll is a two. So we already took care of the steal. Zimmerman batting a 4.44 average. Here's the pitch. And that's going to be 1-3. One, 1-3 three. One, three is a blank. And that is going to be 3-5. That's going to be a fly ball out that doesn't matter. Millage gets the hold. Two outs. One on second. And that is going to bring up Nick Johnson. Johnson batting a 250 average. Strategy roll is a six. Here's the pitch. And that's going to be 3-3. Three, three. That's going to be a home run. That's a 15. The 18 too high. 5-4 ground ball back to the pitcher. Tosses it over to first base to end the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors as the Nationals leave one stranded. We go to the bottom of the first. And here is the starting lineup for the St. Louis Cardinals. Leading off the left fielder, Brian Barton. Batting second, the center fielder, Joe Matter. Batting third, the first baseman, Albert 
Pujols. Batting fourth in the cleanup position, the third baseman, Troy Gladys. Batting fifth, the right fielder, Ryan Ludwig. Batting sixth, the catcher, Yonder Molana. Batting seventh, the shortstop, Cesar Izutris. Batting eighth, the pitcher, Brandon Looper. And batting ninth, the second baseman, Aaron Miles. On the mound for the Nationals, it is Odias Perez. Perez has an ER so far in this replay has an ERA of 7.30, 3.2 innings pitched, allowed six hits and one strikeout. No wins, no losses, and no saves just yet. Here's the pitch to Barton. 1-1. One, one. That's a strike. That's a nine. The 20 is too high. And that's going to be 4-3. And that's going to be a fly ball out there to center field. For out number one. Joe Matter. Matter batting a 250 average. Here's the pitch. 1-3. That is a strike. That's a nine. The 20, too high. And that's going to be 4-4. Four, four. That's going to be a double star 4. And that's going to be a ground ball to third base for out number 2. Albert Pujo's up, batting a 333 average. Here's the pitch. And that is going to be 3-1. That's a strike. 1-19. Too high. 5-2, and that's going to be a single pass Bellard. So, as Pujos gets one on, takes a single from that. Troy Gladys is up. Strategy roll is a 15. Here's the pitch. And that's going to be 5-1. That's going to be a strike. That's an 8. The 17, too high. 4-4. Four, four. That is going to be a single pass. The shortstop. No, that's going to be an out. Sorry. That is an out. No runs. One hit. No errors. After one, the score tied at zero. We go to the top of the second. It is Alston, Paul, and Ronnie do up for the Nationals. Here's the pitch to Alston Kearns. Kearns batting a 235 average. And that is going to be 6 4. That's going to be a strike. That's a 5. That's a 7. He struck him out. Paul LaDuca up. Here's the pitch to Paul. And that is going to be 6-4. That's going to be a strike. That's a 1. The 4, too high. Does not strike out Paul. 5-5, five, five, fly ball out there to matter to center field for out number 2. Ronnie Bellard up. Bellard batting a 4-12 four, a four, average. Here's the pitch. And that's going to be 3-2. Three, 3-2 two. Three, two is a range play. Two outs already. And that is going to be 2-5. That is a double star 5. Ground ball to third base. Range on a 1-3. to three. That's a 2. And that retires the side. So the Cardinals retire the Nationals in order. No runs. No hits. No errors. We go to the bottom of the second. It is Ryan Yonder and Caesar do up for the Cardinals. Ryan Ludwig batting a 143 average. Here's the pitch. And that's going to be 5-5. Five, 5-5 five. Five, five is a strike. That's an 11. That's a 2. And he struck him out. Yonder. Molana up, batting a 250 average. Here's the pitch. 
And that is going to be a 5-3. That is going to be a walk. That's a 10. That's an 8. Take your base. And they walk him. Next up, Cesar Zutras batting a 300 average. Strategy roll. This is an 11. Infield going to double play depth. Here's the pitch. 5-1. That's a strike. That's a 0. So nothing going on there, even with the crit 20. 2-1. <coughs> ground ball to first. <coughs> Excuse me there. Uh, that is going to force out yonder at second. And Caesar is on due to a fielder's choice. Next up is the pitcher, Brandon Looper. Here's the pitch to Brandon. And that's going to be 5-5. Five, five. That's going to be a strike. That's a 15. That's a 14. And he struck him out. So the Cardinals leave one stranded as well. No runs, no hits, no errors. We go to the top of the third. It is Felipe Odias and Christian do up for the Nationals. Here's the pitch. To Lopez. And there's a 3-1. That is a home run. That's a 5. That's a 3. And that ball is out of here. Solo home run for Felipe Lopez. And that ball is gone into the upper decks. And it puts the Nationals up. And it puts the Nationals on the board. And next up, it's going to be the pitcher. Perez, here's the pitch. And that is going to be a 4-6. That is going to be a walk. However, no walk. 6-2, double star 2. Fly ball to center field. Matter underneath that one. And gets the out. One away, we go to the top of the order. Here's Kristen Guzman. Guzman 0 for 1 on the day. And that is going to be a 5-4. That's going to be a strike. That's a 4. The 19, too high. And that is going to be 2-3. That is a question mark 9. That is a power hit out there to Ludwig. And we have a 9. And Guzman smacks a triple. And Ludwig having to go chasing after that one. The third baseman coach waves Guzman to third. And Christian Guzman is on with a triple. And the Nationals have a runner in scoring position. All right, infield at normal depth as Millage comes up. Millage is one for one on the day. Strategy roll is an 11. Guzman, nothing going on there. So no strategy going on for the Nationals. Here's the pitch. Two, five. That is a strike. That's a six. The 14, too high. Millage. Three, two. Ground ball to third. And is he going to try to score? Yes, he is. They're going to try to get him out. They're going to get. They're going to get the auto out at first. They're going to get him out at first. So, Guzman will come home to score, and the out will take place at first. And the Nationals now have a two nothing lead here in the top of the third. Ryan Zimmerman up. Zimmerman 0 for one on the day. Here's the pitch, two outs. And that is going to be 4-1. Four, 4-1 one. Four, one is a blank. 
And that is going to be 5-5. Five, five. Fly ball out that a matter to retire the side. Two runs, two hits, no errors for the Nationals. And they leave none on. We go to the bottom of the third. It is Aaron, Brian, and Joe do up for the Cardinals. Aaron Millage is batting a 200 average. Here's the pitch. And then it's going to be 4-4. Four, four. That's going to be a wild pitch. We're just going to re-roll that. And that is going to be 6-5. That is going to be a strike. That's a 5. The 14 too high. 5-2. Ground ball to third. For out number one. We go to the top of the order. Here's Brian Burton. Burton 0 for 1 on the day. Here's the pitch. And that's going to be 1-3. One, 1-3 three. One, three is a strike. That's a 9. That's a 6. And he struck him out. Next up, Joe Matter. Two outs for the Cardinals. Matter 0 for 1 on the day. Here's the pitch. And that is going to be 1-5. That's going to be a blank. And that is going to be 5-1. And that is a question mark seven. So it's a power hit to Lopez. That's a seven. And that is going to be a double for Joe. And Joe gets on with a double as Lopez has to go back to the wall to make that play. So... And here is Albert Pujos. Pujos is one for one on the day. Two out strategy roll is a nine. So the Cardinals holding off on Strat. The pitch. Six, four, range play. Five, one, pop up to the shortstop. Guzman underneath that one. Guzman's range. One to three. That's a two. And that is out number three, and they get out of the inning. So the Cardinals, once again, leave one stranded, no runs, one hit, no errors. After three, it's the Washington Nationals two, St. Louis Cardinals zero. We go to the top of the fourth. It is Nick Alston and Paul due up for the Nationals. Nick Johnson, 0 for 1 on the day. Here's the pitch. And that is going to be 4 6. That is going to be a walk. That's a 24. That's a 19. And they walk Nick. So Nick Johnson leads off with a walk. Infield going to double play depth. Strategy roll is a 13 as Austin Kearns comes up. He's 0 for 1 on the day. Struck out his last time up. Here's the pitch to Nick. And that is going to be 1 6. That is a blank. That is a blank. 2 6. Ground ball to third. And that is a double play. And that is a double play as the Cardinals turn to. As Paul LaDuca comes up, clears the bases. The Cardinals have cleaned the bases off. Paul LaDuca up. He's 0 for 1 on the day. Here's the pitch. And that is going to be 5 1. 5 1. Walk. 12. 15. Too high. Here's the pitch. 2 uh, 4 5. And that is a single to third. So Paul LaDuca on with a single, keeps the hopes alive for the National, keeps everything alive right now for Washington as Ronnie Bellard comes up. All right. Ronnie Bellard batting a 389. Strategy roll is a 10. Nationals hold off on Strat. And on first, infield at normal depth. Here's the pitch. And that is going to be 6-2. Six, 6-2, two. Six, two, strike. 
That's a 16. I mean, that's a 6. That's a 15. The 15 too high. Here's the pitch. 6-4. That is a single. Past Barton. So now the, the Nationals have runners on first and second. Let's see if Paul LaDuca will advance any more bases. It is a minus two. He has a one. That is a five. And if Raw is less than or equal to, he advances. He holds. So that is going to bring up Felipe Lopez. Lopez 0 for 1 for 1 on the day. Home run, run, and an RBI. 17 on the strategy die. Infield at normal depth. Here's the pitch. 5-1. Walk. 9. 14 too high. 6-1. Fly ball to matter. And that retires the side. No runs, two hits, no errors. As the Nationals leave two stranded, we go to the bottom of the fourth. It is Troy, Ryan, and Molaine up for the Cardinals. Troy Gladys is 0 for 1 on the day. Here's the pitch. And that is going to be 3 3. It's going to be a possible error. And that is going to be 5-1, five, 5-1. One, five, one. That is a ground ball back to the pitcher. That is a 17. That is no error there. And that is out number one. Perez gets it, tosses it over to Johnson as he gets the comebacker for out number one. Ryan Ludwig, 0-1, struck out his last time up. Here's the pitch. And that is going to be 5-3. That is going to be a walk. That's a 13. The 20 is too high. 3-3. Three, three, ground ball to third. Zimmerman gets it. Tosses it across the horn. For out number two. Yadier Molin up. Here's the pitch. He walked his last time up. 5-6. Home run. That's a 10. That's a 9. The 10 too high. Missed it by one. He was that close. 6-4. Double stars. Six fly ball to Kearns. For out number three. So that retires the side as the Nationals retire the Cardinals in order. Three up, three down. He's eating the score. No runs, no hits, no errors. After four, it's the Nationals two, Cardinals zero. As we go to the top of the fifth, it is Odias, Christian, and last things do up for the Nationals. Perez up. Perez is 0 for 1 on the day. Here's the pitch. And that is going to be 6 5. That is going to be a strike. That's a 10. That's a 5. And they struck him out. Christian Guzman up. Guzman is one for two on the day with a triple. He tripled his last time up. Here's the pitch. And that is going to be five, four. That's going to be a strike. That's a four. The 19, too high. Six, three. That's a fly ball to center field for out number two. Last thing, Millage is up. Here's the pitch to Millage. Millage is one for two on the day with an RBI already in the game. And that is going to be four, six. Four, six is a walk. That's a nine. That's a seven. Take your base. So Millage is all. They walk Millage. Ryan Zimmerman up. Zimmerman is 0 for 2 on the day. Strategy roll is a 9. Here's the pitch. And that's going to be 1-3. One, 1-3 three. One, three is a blank. 
And that is going to be 6-1, and that is a ground ball to third to retire the side. So, the Nationals leave one stranded, no runs, no hits, no errors. We go to the bottom of the fifth. It is Caesar, Brandon, and Aaron do up for the Cardinals. Here's the pitch to Caesar. By the way, uh, Perez can face nine more batters before he is tired. Here's the pitch. And that is going to be 1-2. Range play at Bush Stadium. First time we've seen this, the card today. 3-4. Single pass first. And Johnson's ranges are 1-2. to two. That's a 3 and he gets on with a single. So Caesar leads off with a single. All right, that's going to bring up the pitcher. Brandon Looper. Looper is 0 for 1. Struck out his last time up at bat. Strategy roll is a 9. Here's the pitch. And that is going to be 3 2. That's going to be a strike. That's a 15. That's an 8. And they struck him out. All right. Strategy roll is a 4. That's going to be a steal attempt on Caesar. That's an 18. That's a 13. He successfully has stolen second base. All right. We uh, we go to Aaron Miles. Miles is 0 for 1 on the day. Runner now on second. Here's the pitch to Miles. Infield at normal depth. 5-5. Five, five. That's a strike. That's a 5. That's a 3. And they struck him out. So Caesar in scoring position as Brian Barton comes up. Barton is 0 for 2 on the day with a strikeout. Strategy roll is an 8. Here's the pitch. And that is going to be 6 1. 6 1 is a walk. That's a 17. That's a 6. And they walk him. So, runners now on first and second as Joe Matter comes up. Matter doubled his last time up. One for two in the day. Strategy roll is an eight. Here's the pitch. And that is going to be 6-3. Six, 6-3 three. Six, three at the ballpark. We go to Bush Stadium. 4-3. Single to Millage. So, Izutris is going to score. Barton will go to third. And that puts the Cardinals within run one. And they have the runners on corners. As Albert comes up, Pujos is one for two in the day. Strategy roll, one. So the Cardinals are going to hold off on Strat. Here's the pitch. 4-1, blank. 4-3, double star one. Ground ball to third, and that's going to retire the side. One run, two hits, no... One run, two hits, no errors. After five, it's Washington two, Cardinals one. We go to the top of the six. It is Nick Austin and Paul do up for the Nationals. Brian Loper can face five more batters before he is tired. Here's the pitch to Nick. Nick is 0 for 1 on the day with a walk. And that's going to be 2-6. Two six at the ballpark. We go to Bush Stadium. One one fly ball out there to Ludwig for 
out number one. Austin Kearns. Kearns 0 for 2 on the day with a strikeout. Here's the pitch. 1-1. One, one. Wild pitch. We're going to re-roll that. And that is going to be 4-4. Four, four. That's going to be a walk plus. That, actually, no, I'm sorry. That's going to be a blank. That is going to be a blank because we look at it from the right-handed batter side. Three, four, ground ball back to the pitcher. That's a comebacker to Looper. Catches it, throws it over to Albert for out number two. Paul Laduca up. He's over two on the day. Here's the pitch. One for two on the day, sorry. That's going to be 4-2. That's going to be a possible error on a throw. And that's going to be 1-2. That's going to be a fly ball to Barton, who makes the out there. So three, the Cardinals retired the Nationals in order. Three up, three down. No runs, no hits, no errors. We go to the bottom of the six. It is Troy Ryan and Molane up for the Cardinals. Here's the pitch to Troy. Troy is 0-2 on the day. And that's going to be 3-3, three, 3-3, three, 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 possible error. 3-1, question mark 7. That is a power hit to Lopez. That's a 19. That is a fly ball. No error there. Lopez's error rating is, on a, is a 0. That's a 12. And makes the out there. Ryan Ludwig. Ludwig is 0 for 2 on the day with a strikeout in today's game. Here's the pitch. 1 2. Range play at Bush Stadium. And that is going to be 4 5. That is a double star 2. That is a ground ball to Guzman. Guzman's range is on a 1 to 3. That's a two, and he successfully makes the play. Guzman takes it, tosses it over to Johnson for out number two. Yadier Molain up. He's 0 for 1 on the day with a walk. Here's the pitch. And that is going to be 5-5. Five, five. That's going to be a strike. That's a zero. The 18 does not matter. Takes him to nothing. 3-6. That is a singled pass, Kearns. As Yadier gets on. Perez, now tired. As Cesar Zutras comes up, they're going to go out real quickly and talk to uh, Perez on the mound, talk some strategy. All right, we're ready to continue. They come back. Here's the pitch to Zutras. He's one for two on the day. Strategy roll is a nine infield at normal depth. Three, five at the ballpark. We go to Bush Stadium, four, four. S plus eight to Millage. However, Yadier gets the hold sign and Caesar turns that single into a double. So with that, the runner is now safe on third as the Cardinals have the tying run on third. And that is going to bring up the pitcher, Brandon Looper. Strategy roll is a two. Here is the pitch. And that is going to be 6-1. Six, 6-1 one. Six, one is a walk. The set, that's a seven. The nine is too high. One, two. Double, that is a power hit to Lopez. That's a 19. And that is a fly ball out. And the Nationals retire the car. The, that retires the side as the Cardinals leave a runner in runners in scoring position. No runs, two hits, no errors. After six, 
it is Washington 2, St. Louis 1. We go to the top of the 7th. It is Roddy Felipe and Perez do up for the Nationals. Looper can face two more batters before he's tired, so this is probably going to be his last inning. Here is the pitch to Ronnie. Ronnie is one for two on the day. And that is going to be 3-3. Three, three. That is a blank. Uh, they thought they had the insurance run there. 1-6. That, however, that is a single pass Zutris. As Ronnie leads off with a single. All right. Strategy roll is a 10. Infield now at double play depth. Felipe Lopez. Lopez is one for two in the day. Here's the pitch. Six, three, strike. That's a six. The 19, too high. Two, three, that is a single pass Barton. As Ronnie will advance to second, he gets the hold sign to stay at second. Not wanting to challenge the arm of Bar of uh, Brian Barton out there. So right, and it holds. As we go to the pitcher, uh, Perez, who is not going to take this hit. And they are going to bring in Pete Orr to pinch hit. For him, Pete Orr. Here's the pitch to Orr. Brian uh, is tired. So they are leaving him out there. He says he can finish this inning. We'll see. 2 1. That is a possible error. And that's going to be 4 2. That is a single to first. Error rating is a zero. That's a 10. So no error there. And that loads the bases. All right, they're going to have a quick chat with uh, Looper out there on the mound. And he says he's good. All right, they're going to give him a warning, however. The next base runner, they are going to uh, pluck him. So they do make that call to the bullpen, the Cardinals' bullpen. Has been warming up for a while on that. Shaggy roll is a 20. We do have a pickoff attempt. That's a 20, however, nothing happens there. Bases are loaded. Here's the pitch. One, two, strike, four, 14, too high. We go to the top of the order. Christian Guzman's one for three on the day. Five, one, double star three. That is a fly ball out there to Ludwig. And that is a failed sacrifice throw. They failed to bring Ronnie home. And the five holds him. One out. Bases are loaded. Lasting millage. Millage one for two on the day with a walk and an RBI. Strategy roll is a six. Here's the pitch. One, four, blank. Two, two, double, uh, double star three. Fly ball out there once again to Ludwig. And this time it is a... The runner scores, show runner on second flyout chart, and that is going to be, so he scores, Lopez gets the hold, two outs, and the Nationals now make, have a two-run lead over the Cardinals. All right, Brian Loper warming up. He has to get through Ryan Zimmerman to end the inning here. 
to get through the inning. Strategy rolls a 19, two outs. Runners on first and second. Zimmerman 0 for 3 on the day. Here's the pitch. To Zimmerman. 5-5. Five, five. Hit by pitch. That's a 10. Looper adds plus 5. And Zimmerman loads the bases, and the crowd here boos. They are not happy with that. Nick Johnson up. Johnson is 0 for 2 on the day. Brian Looper tired. They are going to leave him in to finish the sitting, at least. Here is the pitch. Johnson 0 for 2 with a walk. 1-3, blank. 6-4, ground ball to short. Sing, take me out to the ball game. All right, that is going to do it for the pitcher. We are going to have a relief pitcher in here as we go to the bottom of the seventh. We have a switch right coming up. Switch right, right. So they are going to go with a right-handed batter, uh, right-handed pitcher. Uh, Gavit pitched. That's who I was looking at to bring in. Hmm. Well, let's see, Mike. They're going to bring in Mike O'Connor. Actually, Ray. Nope, they're going to bring in. No, they're going to bring in uh, Mike O'Connor to take over. Mike O'Connor, one win, one loss, 13 ERA, pitched only nine innings, allowed 11 hits, four strikeouts. 11 walks. So let's take a look here at the stats for uh, Perez. Perez went six innings, pit, allowed six hits, one run, one earned run, two walks, five strikeouts, ERA of 3.71. Let's take a look at the box score real quick. As we head to the bottom of the seventh inning, the Nationals score twice in the third, once so far in the seventh, and St. Louis came back in the fifth to answer to make it to make it a one run lead and the Nationals once again make it a two run game. All right. Here's the pitch to Aaron Miles. Uh one run, three hits, no errors as we uh as we go to the bottom of the seventh. It is Aaron Bryan and Joe do up with the Cardinals. Here is the pitch. And that's Going to be 5-5. Five, five. That's going to be a home run. That's a zero. The 12, too high. And that's going to be 1-3. Ground ball to second for out number one. Ryan Barton up. Barton 0 for 2 on the day with a walk and a strikeout. Here's the pitch. And that's going to be 5-3. Five, 5-3. Three. Five, three. Home run chance. On a one to two, the three is too high. Six, two, double star one. That's a fly ball to center field to Millage for out number two. Joe Matter up. Matter is two for three on the day. Here's the pitch. And that is going to be... 4-6. Four, 4-6 six. Four, six is a strike. That's a 9. The 18 is too high. 
And that is going to be 2-5. That's going to be a single to Johnson. As Maddow gets on with a single. Next up is Albert Pujos. Pujos is one for three in the day. Strategy roll is a 19. The Cardinals holding off on Strat. Here's the pitch. And that is going to be 5-3. Home run chance on a 1-2. to two. That's a 13. However, the 13 too high. 1-2. Fly ball to Lopez. And that retires the side. No runs, one hit, no errors after seven. It's Washington three, St. Louis one. We go to the top of the eighth. It is Austin, Paul, and Ronnie do up for the Nationals. That's going to do it for Brian Looper. As the Cardinals have made that call to the bullpen, we have a right, right, right coming up. And they are going to bring in they're going to bring in Josh Kinley to pitch. Kinley, let's take a look at his stats here. Only pitched seven innings, allowed three hits, eight strikeouts, one walk. So we'll see what he does here. Let's take a look here at the stats as we do say, as Brian Loper has stepped out of the game. Went seven innings, allowed eight hits, three runs, three earned runs, two walks, two strikeouts, one home run, one hit by pitch, ERA, 3.2. Eight six. Here's the pitch to Austin. Austin is 0 for 3 on the day. And that's going to be 2 4. That's a double star. Fly ball to Ludwig for out number one. Paul Laduca up. Here's the pitch to Paul. And that is going to be a 5 1. Five ones a wild pitch. We're going to reroll that. Paul is one for three in the day. Four, two. Strikeout plus. We add 10. Minus three. We add seven. That's an 11. That's a four. And he struck him out looking. Mark that one down as a backwards K. Two outs. We go to Ronnie Bellard. Bellard, two for three on the day. Here's the pitch. And that's going to be three, two. That is a hit by pitch. That's a zero. Kenny gives a minus 10. Four, six. That's a double. And that is off the wall as Ludwig has to go chasing after it. And that puts uh, the Nationals in scoring position as Felipe Lopez steps up into the batter's box. All right, here's the pitch to Lopez. Lopez is two for three on the day. Five, one, wild pitch, nothing. Nothing for wild pitcher passed ball. So we're going to continue on here. 6-2. That's a double star five. And that is a ground ball to the shortstop. And that retires the side. No runs. One hit. No errors. As we go to the bottom of the eighth, it is Troy Gladys. And, I mean, Troy Ryan and Yachty are up for the Cardinals. Mike O'Connor going to stay out there for this inning. Here's the pitch. 3-2. That is a walk. That's a 15. That is a 7. And they walk him. 
All right, that is a pickoff attempt. On a one, it's a pickoff. If it's a two, it's a pickoff error. It's an eight, nothing happens. And that is gonna be three, four. That's a double star. And that is a fly ball out that occurs. Out number one. Infield at double play depth as Yadier comes up. He's one for two on the day. Strategy roll is a 12. Here's the pitch. And that is going to be a 5-3. Home run chance on a 1-2. to two. The 18 too high. 6-6. Six, six, double star two. Ground ball to second. And that is a double play to retire the side. And the Cardinals, tur I mean the Nationals, double play to end the inning there. No runs, no hits, no errors, nothing across the board. After eight, it's Washington three, St. Louis one. We go to the top of the ninth, but will we see some ninth inning magic? Let's take a look here. Uh, that's going to do it for Kenny. Kenny is tired. We have a left switch right coming up for St. Louis. Uh, they are going to bring in... They're going to bring in Ryan Franklin to uh, close out. Franklin, ERA 18.0. One inning pitch to allow two hits. No strikeouts, no walks. I'm only allowed two hits. And that is going to do it for Mike Connor. Connor comes out. And Ryan comes in to pinch hit. Here's the pitch to Ryan. And that is going to be 3-5. That is a range play. And that's going to be 2-6. That's a triple to Ludwig. Ludwig's range is a 1-3. to three. That's a 5. And it got past him. And Ryan... Getting the wave from second to third turns that into a triple. The Nationals looking to get their first win here in St. Louis. As we go to the top of the order, Kristen Guzman. Guzman won for four in the day with a triple and an RBI and a run scored. Here's the pitch. And that is going to be 6-3. That is a possible error. Here's the pitch. And that is going to be 5-4. Ground ball to the short to a third. Error rating is a 15. That's a 4. No error there. And is he going to try to score? Yes, he is. And they're going to get him out at first. So they're going to get the out at first. They're going to score Ryan. And it's one out. As we go to Lastings Millage, here's the pitch to Lastings. He's one for two on the day. And that is going to be a 3-5. That is a range play. Millage is one for two with a walk and two RBIs. 1-1. One, one. Ground ball to the shortstop. Ground ball ranges on a one to four. That's a six. That is a single. And Lastings is on with a single. Infield at double play depth. Ryan Zimmerman up. Zimmerman is 0 for 3 on the day. Here is the pitch. And that is going to be 5-4. 
Five, four is a walk. That's a nine. The 16, too high. Five, five, fly ball to matter. And that is out number two. Before Nick Johnson comes up, let's take a look here at the box scores. After eight innings of play so far, well, no one scored in the last inning there, but the Nationals, like I said, have scored one run in the seventh. So far, they've only put one run up here in the ninth. And that is where we stand right now, 4-1, to one, as Nick Johnson comes up. Johnson is 0-3 for 3 on the day with a walk. Two outs, runner on first. Here's the pitch from Ryan. 3-3, three, three, blank. 6-3, ground ball to second. And that retires the side. So that is going to bring up, they're going to bring in their closer, Urchrit, Urich, ERA of 25.71, pitched two-thirds of an inning, allowed two hits, one strikeout, and one walk. Let's take a look here at the stats before we continue on. Mike O'Connor pitched two innings, allowed one hit, one strikeout, no ERA. Josh Kinney pitched one inning, allowed one hit, one strikeout, no ERA. So we are in a safe situation. He has to face Caesar, Ryan, and Aaron do up for the Cardinals. Here's the pitch. Five, six, that's a strike. That's a 12. That's a 1. The 12 is too high. 5-5. Five, five. That is a single. And Caesar leads off with a single. Adam Kennedy comes in to pinch hit for the pitcher. Infield at double play depth. Ken Kennedy batting a 125 average. Here's the pitch. And that's going to be 2 5. That is a hit by pitch. That is a zero. And that's going to be 4 3. That's a double star, too. Fly ball out there to Lopez for out number one. Infield still at double play depth. As Aaron Miles comes up, Miles is 0 for 3 on the day. The pitch. Uh, yeah, the pitch. And that's going to be 1 5. That is a wild pitch. That's a 6. That is a wild pitch. And Caesar goes to second on that wild pitch. 4 5. That is a single. Past the shortstop. And Izutris is going to score. On that. He scores on a 3-6. to six. Infield at double play depth. One out. Runner on first and... Cardinals now cut the lead down to two. Brian Barton up. Barton 0 for 3 on the day. 2-5. <coughs> Hit by pitch. No. 1-1. One, one, double star 5. Fly ball out there to Lopez. F out number 2. Joe Matter. Matter is 0 for 3 on the day. What, four, 3 for 4 on the day. With a double and an RBI. Here's the pitch. One tired now. Six six home run chance on a one to six. The twelve too high. One four, and that is a double. All right, let's see. Lead runner advances, so that is going to score mileage. Lead runner advances. 
Ball thrown and the trying runner is thrown out. And that retires, and that's the game. As the Washington Nationals defeat the St. Louis Cardinals of a score of four to three. Final line score coming right up. So the Nationals get their first win here in St. Louis. A score of four to three. The Nationals four runs on 11 hits. St. Louis three runs on 10 hits. Winning pitcher is Perez. Losing pitcher is Looper. Juan Rochek gets the save. Felipe Lopez, the only the solo man with the home run in the in the game today. Perez with the win went six innings, allowed six hits, one run, run, earn run, two walks, five strikeouts, ERA, 3.71. Brian Looper with the loss went seven innings, allowed eight hits, three runs, three earned runs, two walks, two strikeouts, one home run, one hit by pitch, ERA, 3.86 as he leaves when he was done. One ranch went one inning, allowed three hits, one two runs, two run runs, one wild pitch, 21.18 for his ERA. So that is going to do it for us here at Bush Stadium. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up on your way through the turnstile. And until next time, this is Scooney007. And we'll see you next time for another exciting game in the 2008 replay with Inside Pitch. Until then, take care, everyone. Bye-bye.